Welcome to PhotoPlus. In this video, we're going to take a look at the PhotoPlus user interface and see where some of the key features are located. When you first launch PhotoPlus, you'll be presented with this startup assistant. Now, from here, you can choose to create a new image, open an existing image, launch PhotoStack to organize your photographs, access both written and video tutorials, and catch up with news, articles, and other interesting information. So we'll start by going to the Open dialog. Then from this subcategory, we'll choose to browse for All Images. We'll want to navigate to a folder where our images are located. Single click to highlight the image we wish to open. Then we can click Open. So now we have our image open to work with, we can take a look at the interface. The toolbar along the top here gives us access to common features such as saving, opening and printing. It also allows us to access PhotoStack, the Photograph Organizer program. And we can also access features such as PhotoFix, Filter Gallery, Cutout Studio and Warp Studio, all of which contain some powerful image editing options. Now just below this toolbar, we have the Context toolbar. Now this toolbar's options change depending on which tool you have active. And your active tool is dictated by this Tools toolbar here. Now this Tools toolbar contains all the main tools you'll be using for your image editing. So for example, if I switch to the Paintbrush tool for a minute, you'll notice the options on the Context toolbar have changed to reflect the paintbrush tool. Again, if I navigate further down and I choose the text tool here, once again, the options have changed. Now, when you first run PhotoPlus, you'll also be presented with this how-to tab here. This how-to tab provides you with a number of helpful topics and guides that you can follow step by step as you work alongside your image. We can hide this tab by clicking this small arrow here. Whenever we want to bring the How To tab back up, we simply click this fly out arrow here. So we'll go ahead and hide it for now. On the right hand side of Photo Plus, we have a series of tabs and they house all kinds of functionality. These tabs are explored in more detail in various videos, but we can easily switch between them to get access to the features that we're after. We can also reorganize these tabs as we see fit. So all I need to do is single click the heading of a tab I wish to move. And as I move my mouse around, I will see various snapping points offered. So for example, I can move it up here. You can also drag these tabs out on their own. So rather than dragging the tab to a specific area here, I can simply drag it out at any point on the interface, release the mouse button, and I now have a floating tab. We can, of course, dock these tabs again, so I can move it back over here and release the mouse button. In PhotoPlus, we also have several preset layouts that we can choose between. So if I go to Workspace up here, you'll see we're using the default workspace. If I click this drop down, we can choose another workspace, such as Designer, and we'll see the workspace, specifically the tab layout, has been altered. So we can move back to Default, and this also results in our How To tab reappearing. So we can hide that again. Additionally, another way to restore our workspace, if, for example, we have reorganized numerous tabs, and we wish to restore everything to its default, we can simply go to Window, Studio Tabs, and Reset Workspace Tabs. Once again, I'll hide the How To. Through the Window option up here, we can also gain access to tabs that are not ordinarily shown. 
So if we navigate down to Studio tabs, you'll notice there are a few tabs that aren't active. And one of these that might be of particular use if you're using text is the Character tab. By simply clicking it, we'll now activate it in this tab list up here. Now when we're working with multiple images or Photo Plus documents, we have a very useful feature called the Documents tab. If we move down here and hover over this flyout, we'll see this Documents tab. We can then click the flyout, like so, to bring it out permanently. So to see how this Documents tab works, what we will do is go to Open and choose to open another image here. we'll then see that we can very quickly navigate between our open images or documents. Finally then, we'll look at the Zoom tool located on the toolbar up here. So we can click to select it. And if we want to enlarge a particular area of our image, what we can do is click, drag to draw a selection area around the part of the image we want to magnify. Then we simply release the mouse button and Photo Plus will zoom to that area. With our zoom tool active, we then have a series of options we can access by right-clicking on the document workspace. We can then choose to, for example, zoom out incrementally, or we can choose zoom to fit, which will ensure that we can see the entire image. Well, that's all for this video. Please do check out the other tutorial videos, and if you have any questions or queries, don't hesitate to ask on the Community Plus forums. Thank you for watching.